Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to this War of Mine Perfect Start, Episode 2. Okay, here we are back in our house. Okay, so Katya is currently sleeping. I think pretty much everyone is at the moment. Uh, she's hungry, slightly wounded, and is recovering. Marco is hungry and tired. So, not too much, so that's fine. He's only hungry, he's not very hungry. Obviously, there's the rest of the house, um, but what we'll probably do is end the day and we will get straight to the night. So, at the moment, um, Bruno isn't with us, so we are going to stay and guard uh, because he went off to help. So, we're now on to day six. Oh, and we've been raided. Oh, dear. Someone tried to rob us. It was quite a tough group, but we managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we were all armed. None of us were wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves, and we used two ammunition. And Bruno has brought back some goods from the aid container. Six coffee, five water, and four food. Very good. Okay, so Bruno boy is now back. He's very hungry, he is sad, and he is very tired. Are there any animals left in the city? I'm so hungry, I'd even eat one of them. Well, let's go send him to go and eat get rid of his very hungry and then we're going to need to get him to sleep so okay let's have a look at Marco so everyone should choose one happy memory and it can't just be good it has to be grand when it gets so bad uh, blah 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 okay anyway on we go uh, let's go to uh, Katia what's she doing she is still slightly wounded so let's put her back to sleep she's very hungry as well everyone is uh, we'll put Marco back to sleep as well let's get Bruno to eat Okay, so at least we get rid of his very hungry status. Uh, hopefully he'll be able to smoke soon, but we're going to need to make more food, and at the moment we have no fuel. Okay, so we need to make more fuel. So let's go to the workbench. We know he's very tired, but at least he's not hungry anymore. Well, not very hungry, he's just hungry. So go to wood. We've only got three pieces of wood, uh, so we're going to have to make three fuel, and then make... And one of the things we want to do is get the hatchet. This is uh, another very early on uh, thing that is worth doing if you have access to the garage. And I will explain that as we get further on. Um, but Bruno is making the fuel, so that's three made. And that's going to let us cook some more dishes. And uh, we've got 14 food, so we've got plenty. Uh, listening to some of the comments about leaving food in the scavenge locations, I can understand, and that does make sense, because uh, it stops you from being uh, losing it through being raided. But let's cook three dishes, that's what we can make. So Bruno uses less water, uh, because he is a good cook, uh, so we only needed to use three water there for those three food. So there we go, one crafted, he's on to the number two. Uh, he'll craft number three and then hopefully one of our tired people will wake up and we can send him to bed uh, to start recovering. Okay, so there's three food made. Uh, let's just go and check the alcohol still, just something for him to do. I don't think we've got uh, enough to be able to make any, but we'll have a look anyway. Okay, so still sleeping. Marco's still sleeping, as is Katia. Okay, Bruno, up you go up the stairs to our alcohol distiller, our moonshine distiller. Okay, so yep, yeah, we've got enough water, but again, we're going to require that fuel. We haven't got any, uh, because wood is a bit on the... Uh... Oh, we woke up uh, Marco there, didn't we? Okay, coffee is becoming less and less available in the besieged city of Bagoran. Now, one thing I haven't noticed is a actual increase of the trade value of coffee. So this radio message, basically, it eventually becomes everything is running out, everything is devastatingly bad in regards to coffee. There is none, so it's a black market goods, um, so it should be good for trade. Uh, and of course, uh, Bruno bought back a load of coffee from that supply run. Um, but at the same time, I haven't seen a marked increase in the trade value of coffee beans. Uh, so just a mental note there. Right, we'll get him to eat. There we go. Let's check out our water filter as well, uh, because we are going to need more water. I can't remember whether we built a filter to use in it, but we're going to find out in a moment. So off we trot. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, no, we've got no filters. Okay, so we need to make filters uh, to get more water. 
Okay, now we need someone to wake up. Still slight, uh, slightly wounded and recovering. So we can get uh, Katya up now, put Marco to bed to get rid of that tired status. And Katya can go and eat as well uh, to get rid of that very hungry status. And obviously we've still got plenty of food, so that's all good. Double click, uh, of course, will uh, make the person run. Uh, but at the moment she's not tired. Uh, Marco's going to go to bed and we're not in a huge rush uh, to get her to go upstairs so she can just walk. That's fine. There we go. Head to the kitchen, Katia. Get yourself some food and uh, get rid of that very hungry status. Nom nom nom. Lovely cooked dish. Much more uh, sustenance providing than just eating raw food straight out of the fridge. I'm sure you wouldn't mind another helping, but at the same time, we uh, don't have enough cooked dishes or enough uh, resources at the moment because we can't make any more fuel. So there we go. Bruno is still very tired, but he is uh, he is uh, getting rid of that tiredness. And oh, there we go. So Marco's up, so he's not hung. He's not tired anymore. He's just hungry. Let's send Katia back to bed double click get her to run back there we're already at 420 so there's only about three hours left of sleep but hopefully that will help her wound recover the reason we're not using the bandage uh, is because we want to take one of those bandages and one of those pills uh, so the herbal pills uh, to the garage when we go there so there's not much else we can do so end the day oh we accidentally clicked on the workbench there okay so end the day so we're back into the night Okay, so we will get um, both Bruno and uh, Katia to guard. So guard for Katia, guard for Bruno. He's still tired, which means he's going to be very tired again tomorrow, but that's fine. Now, here we go. So the garage. We might be able to uh, have trade here. So this is, uh, as I said, we're going to go for the hatchet. So you want to take with you to the garage medication. So bandages and pills. And what you'll do is you'll get very good value. Uh, for trading. Uh, we can take a shovel just in case there's any rubble that we need to uncover. We're leaving plenty of weapons behind. Whoops, didn't mean to take that. There we go. Scavenge. Okay, so here we are. We're at the garage. These first two hands uh, here you can ignore. You have a quick look at the wall. So no more hiding. We meet in heaven. Continue. And now we're going to go and visit the owner of the garage um, before the war, of course. Hey you, I need meds for my father. Have you got some? Yes, we certainly have. So we want this hatchet, and you'll see why very, very soon. So get the uh, bandage, give the bandages and the pills. This offer of yours is just too damn impressive. Well, I know we need a saw blade for the top floor, so we'll take one of those. Uh, take uh, a couple of lock picks. Uh, let's see what else we can take. Uh, so your offer is still just too damn impressive. So we can still take some more stuff. What do we want? Okay, let's go with uh, some mechanical parts. So still very generous. Fine, we can have a deal. It won't do. Try harder. Okay, get rid of that. Let's try adding some water. Fine, we can have a deal still. It won't do. Try harder. Okay, so now we know the maximum amount of stuff that we can trade for our bandages and pills. It would have actually been better to send Katia to do this. Um, just a mental note, uh, because Marco can carry more stuff, but Katia is a skilled trader, so we would have been able to get a lot more had we brought Katia. So that's just a mental note. If you're running through this and you have Katia, take her to the garage with the medication and uh, get a better trade deal. But we've got some good stuff anyway, the most important being that we've got the hatchet. Uh, so we just cleared out that junk pile, and what we'll do is we'll go use the saw blade on the top floor, uh, which will free up another slot. So let's have a look what's here. Okay, we've got some more components of wood, so that's good. We can take four more components with us, so we'll take those. And now walk across the top, and as you can see, there's a saw blade icon there. So we will use that, and that will free up another slot. Plus it will give us access to the other side of the garage. Now that red dot down below is literally just the window flapping in the wind. So it's nothing we really need to worry about. Uh, so it's not anyone coming out of their house. There we go, you can see the window is open. Go through the top here. There's a hiding spot uh, in the car there. Not that you need it. And again, have a look in here. There's normally lots of good stuff in this filing cabinet, so let's have a look. Yep, we've got coffee beans, a roll-up cigarette. We've got uh, more components. 
a couple of books and some tobacco as well, which of course is a good trade good. So the question now is what you want to take, what you want to come back for, but all of this is worth taking. Uh, it's just a case of whether we take it now or whether we come back for it another time. Uh, so that decision is yours. I think what we might do is get rid of the wood and take the tobacco, because we can take all four of those uh, for the two wood. So we'll do that. We've got quite, we could leave the water behind actually and maybe uh, take the uh, cigarette because uh, Bruno needs his fags of course. So there we go, take the roll up cigarette. And there's an exit over here on the other side so you don't have to go back to the uh, beginning again, you can just uh, run through. So just run to the exit and Marco is back and we are now on day seven. So we are now on day seven, everything's going relatively well. Uh, we don't have any major problems. Let's see what happened overnight. We weren't raided, so that's very good. The night was calm, continue. So now we can get... Uh, now you'll see now there's a lot of items that have got an axe with a choppy icon next to them. Well, what we're going to be able to do is break up some of the furniture that we were taking stuff off out of earlier. So let's get uh, Marco to go to the workbench. I know you gladly eat something, sir, but you're only hungry. You're not very hungry, so we're not going to boost you up yet with any more food. You don't need to. And what we can do is make our third bed. So everyone's got a bed, so put that down in the other basement room. So there we go. So you've now got three beds. That's a bed for everyone, so everyone can recover during the day. So let's send him off to recover his tiredness. But here are all of these little uh, things that we can smash up with the uh, hatchet. And that will give us more wood and fuel, which is very, very handy. And that hatchet is a great tool to have um, because there's so much stuff that you can smash up in the place that you are in uh, that it means you don't need to trade for fuel and wood. Good trade, we helped each other out. We did indeed, didn't we? We gave them some medication. And Katya is content. She's content because we've helped people recently. Okay, so, oh, accidentally woke him up. Let's put him back to sleep again. There we go. Okay, so everyone's asleep, so there's not really a lot we can do now, other than waiting for someone to wake up after they get rid of their tired status. Okay, so. Uh, again, looking, let's just have a look around, shall we? Look at the view of the... Uh, I love the graphics of this game and the pencilization of uh, the imagery and everything else. It's, uh, I do like the... Oh, oh we've uh, got a trader arriving. Okay, so someone's going to need to wake up. Who are we going to wake up? Okay, so... Marco, run up there and just have a look, see what he's got. And then what we'll do is we'll wake up Katia because of course she's the one that is the magical trader. That's right, she gets all those additional items. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you the difference. So here we go, this is Marco. He doesn't have the uh, skilled trader. So let's see what we can get. Oh, vegetables, definitely. Okay, what else is there that we want? Oh, there's some alcohol there. That's some refined alcohol. So that's used to make bandages. Uh, so we can add that, uh, or we can just add some other random stuff. Uh, you can have it for almost nothing, the wood, you know, because there's so much of it around. Uh, we don't really want it. Okay, well, let's go with components. Oh, there's some bullets there as well. I we could add those, seeing as we've been using them in our gun. There we go, three bullets. So some veg, eight components, and three bullets. Now, what would we need to give for it to be a good deal. Okay, so let's go with coffee, which is supposedly a much higher trade value item now because of its scarcity, uh, but we're not seeing that. Oh, there's a broken gun that we could use, but I think we'll want to repair that later. Uh, what else could we possibly give? Uh, let's look around, maybe a bit more coffee, maybe some food, there we go, food, because we've got plenty. Uh, more coffee, it won't do, try harder, it won't do, try harder. So let's take back a coffee bean, maybe give some more tobacco. Uh, okay, maybe some, uh, what else could we do? Because it still won't do. So, what about a lockpick? Ah, there we go, right, fine, we can have a deal. So two coffee, some food, two tobacco, and a lockpick, just for some veg, eight components, and three bullets. Okay, fair enough, not interested, because obviously we're not using 
our trader. So not interested. You'll regret your decision later. Well, it's only a very brief uh, cancellation because I'm going to send Marco back to sleep and we're going to wake up Katja because she's got those bargaining skills. So let's bring her back up. I'm glad Marco helped the people in the garage. Yes, I know you are, Katja, and you're very content about it as well. So off you go to the trader. Double click. Come on, run, girl. Run. I know you're slightly wounded, but, you know, get to the door before he disappears. Right, now, what can we possibly trade for? So, let's go for the same things. Let's go for food. Actually, this time, let's add the uh, distilled alcohol and eight components. So now we've got a much higher value item. And now let's see what we need to trade uh, to get the same result. So one piece of tobacco. Gotta be kidding me. Let's go with one of the norm normal alcohols, not the distilled. So there we go. It won't do try harder. So we're nearly there. Mm, coffee beans again, don't seem to be very good. And there's the food. Now it's very generous. Okay, so with the food, it's now a very generous offer. So now we can barter a little bit more. Maybe take the uh, tobacco away. Now let's see if we can uh, add some additional stuff or maybe just deal. Deal. There we go. Could have potentially added additional items to that trade. Um, again, another piece of advice um, that I didn't actually show on that section is you always try and add items just to see if you can get a little bit more out of the trade uh, than uh, where, because that fine you can have a deal is actually kind of a bracket uh, from minimum to maximum of where you can have a deal. Uh, so you are always worth trying to add additional items uh, to your deal uh, to try and get more resources, more components, more food, more water, whatever it is you're trying to get or you're short of. So now we have some veg, which means we can make a double dish. So that make, will make two additional food with one uh, food and one veg. Uh, so that's always handy to have. Again, now everyone is tired, everyone is sleeping. Uh, so, yep. So, we've skipped forward, so Marco's awake, and we've sent him to one of the little things for the hatchet. So there we go, he smashed it up. Now grab what's been uh, broken to pieces, and we've got three wood and four fuel. So grab all. Okay, might as well smash up this as well. So, there we go, Marco. Smash this to pieces. Lovely stuff. And again, collect what's on the floor. And of course he's the skilled scavenger. So six wood and three fuel. Excellent. So that is now six fuel that we've picked up. Uh, so we've now got seven fuel. So exit. And that's just how good the hatchet is. And that's why if you get the garage, make sure you go there with your bandages and your medicine and you get the hatchet uh, as it is an essential tool. There we go. Another thing smashed up. So let's collect. There we go eight wood and four fuel grab all so there we go we've got loads of wood and we've got loads of fuel marco is just hungry at the moment so he's all good there oh bruno is up and about how's he doing he's just hungry okay so we don't need to uh, consume that meal yet so might as well end the day and get on with some more scavenging Okay, so again, we're going to uh, get Katia, who is not tired, neither is Bruno, so we can get them to guard. And are we going to go to the garage again, or somewhere else? Hmm, decisions, decisions. Well, we've still got some materials, some meds. Uh, right, that's uh, some food, huge amounts of materials, lots of meds, huge amounts of weapons, lots of parts. Ghost house, okay. So, what are we going to take with us? Well, we'll take the hatchet, we'll take a lockpick and we'll take the shovel with us and this is the good thing with uh, Bruno is the fact uh, sorry Marco is the fact that he has that extra capacity so we've got much more chance of unlocking breaking through getting rid of rubble and everything else because we can take all those additional items and still bring back 12 different things so let's have a look in the first pile that we find what is that okay well we'll take the components there we go take the three of those, take a couple of wood, and we'll leave one item in there so the pile doesn't get destroyed. Have a quick look through what's making the noise. Oh, it's a haunted house, isn't it? So who knows? Let's go through. Oh, there's a fridge. Let's go and have a quick look. 
that's always worth looking at. Oh, look at that, full food, veg. So let's take all that. Now, as I said, people have commented I should be leaving that behind, as just in case for being raided, so fair point. I uh, didn't actually think of it at the time. Uh, so, yep, that's definitely worth doing. So I wouldn't have taken all of that, maybe just take the veg, which would have allowed us to make four meals uh, back at home. And also, once you've made meals, they can't be taken uh, during a raid. So if you cook and you've got four meals ready on the stove, they will not be stolen. Whereas your raw ingredients can be. Okay, we brought our lockpick with us. That was handy because there's a locked door here. So let's get it unlocked. We've got all the way down to the basement to look at as well. So into the bedroom we go. And as you can see, we can also use our hatchet uh, in here as well. So once we've taken the items, we can let, oh, more coffee, more pills, lovely. We'll take that. Okay, we're now full of stuff. Uh, but let's have a look at what else there is anyway. So have a look in this uh, cabinet at the end. Oh, three, three cigarettes, two um, fertilizer and some tobacco. Okay, well we don't really need wood, so let's take the uh, fertilizer. Uh, don't need that wood either really. And let's take the three cigarettes. And it's a real tobacco cigarette as well, so uh, that's good for uh, Bruno back in our shelter. Lots of stuff to come back and get, so bullets, wood, broken weapons everything else so make a note of what there is there's not really anything else to get so what we could do is do a run to the exit okay let's bring him down so I'm presuming we can let's go and have a look out here see what we can see in the garden so it doesn't look like there's any hands or anything to search out there just some burning barrels and some smoke from a previously shelled location it looks like there might be some rubble and stuff down in the basement but uh, for now Let's uh, go down and have a quick look. Okay, tear this down. Might as well, we're only, uh, we're not even halfway through our scavenging period for the night, so we might as well do a little bit more exploration, even though we've collected everything. Oh, there's a grate down there as well. Okay, go and have a look. Okay, what's in this pile? What have we got? Okay, so we've got more components, uh, some shell casings and some gunpowder. Okay, very good. And down there, there is a metal grate, so we need a saw for that, which we don't have with us. Uh, so mental note for when you next come back to the location that you'll need to bring a saw with you. And in there, there's some more things to search in the basement. And that's pretty much it for this location. Let's have a look at this last pile. Okay, so more coffee, more oh, we can take that. Uh, is there anything else there we can take? Well, oh, there's loads of other stuff there as well. So worth, uh, worth definitely uh, taking. We can take the coffee beans because of course we've already got one in our pile of stuff in his backpack. So that's all good. Um, but I think that's pretty much it for now. It's just a case of remembering all the stuff. And one of the other things to do, as pointed out by one of the comments, is the next time you come here is you bring everything and put it in that initial pile. So all you need to do is come in and collect stuff from the stuff by the closest to your entry point and that then saves you some time but off we go to the exit and we are now in day eight so we've got through the first seven days so we've been surviving for a week and we are now into our second week of survival look at all this stuff i wish i could bring so much every night i know you brought back so much good stuff Okay, well, what do we need to do? We've got 14 food, two veg, and we've got one meal ready. So, might as well get Marco to go and eat. Katia is still slightly wounded. She's no longer um, content anymore, because that uh, good deed only lasted a day, apparently. And now, we need to get Bruno to go and cook. Uh, Katia might as well go and sleep, because she's eaten. So, she's just uh, tired. And of course she used to be a journalist, so she's just putting that she used to write people's experiences, but all she wants to do now is find her parents and actually give them a hug, not write about them. And she wish it, wish, wishes that she had seen them more often before the war broke out. There's a lesson there, and that is enjoy time with your parents while you can. And it is a very true and valid point. Never take them for granted and talk to them as much as you can. Okay, right, Bruno is cooking four meals now, so that was the two veg and two food, which is going to make us four meals. Let's go and have a look at the uh, upgrading of the metal workbench, see how much that's going to cost us resource-wise. 
Okay, so we can't, oh, we can do it actually. We have got enough to uh, do it. So we'll then be able to make more tools, such as the axe and saw blade, and then be able to fix firearms as well. So that's quite a valid upgrade to be making, uh, but it does use a lot of what we have. But we're gonna make it because to be honest, we want to be able to build those extra components. Now that uh, Bruno has made the food, we can get him to eat the food because he's very hungry and then he can go and have a rest. So go and sleep. He's still sad, but that is fine. I mean, we are in the middle of a conflict after all, so sadness is uh, all but guaranteed. I mean, hey, with the world we've been in for the last couple of years, uh, sadness and uh, everything else seems to be a prolific thing. So now we can repair the weapon. So five uh, weapon parts and one broken weapon makes us a working pistol. So that will give us two guns. So that gives us a second gun to defend ourselves with when we're guarding at night. So much better odds of uh, fending off heavier mobs that may come at night and potentially injure and uh, wound our guards. So there we go, get this uh, constructed. Once he's built the gun, we'll get him to eat some food and then he'll go and get some sleep. And then we'll move through to uh, the end of this day. And I think that's probably where around where we'll finish uh, episode two of this Perfect Start series. So about five minutes left of the video. And, uh, and then we'll leave it there. And uh, you'll need to come back for part three. Let's uh, get him to go check the radio out first, see if there's any new messages, and then we'll get him to go to sleep. So, run, boy, run. Okay, coffee becoming less and less available in the vicinity of Gora, and the prices of coffee on the black market are expected to rise. So, expected to rise. Haven't risen yet, expected to. Okay, off you go to sleep. There we go. And that's it. We may as well end the day because there's nothing else to do. So, okay, everyone is good. Catch is still slightly wounded, of course. Uh, so Bruno and Catch are guard. Marco, you're going to scavenge. Now the only question is, where do we go back to? Let's this time go to maybe the abandoned cottage, or maybe go back to the ghost house. Question. The choice, of course, is yours. Uh, so then it's prepare. And what do we want to take with us? Well, we know um, that we need a saw blade, but of course we haven't got one. Don't know why I'm taking the lockpick. Let's uh, put that back again. We don't need it. And not entirely sure we need the shovel. In fact, I don't think we do. So there's not really any need to take anything else with us other than the uh, other than the axe. That'll do nicely. We could take a gun with us as well, of course, just in case we encountered anyone. Um, but we know there's no one in this location. So just take the axe. Okay, here we go. We are in the uh, haunted house. So again, up and through. We know where the stuff. Again, check this pile. We definitely left something in here, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay, now I take it and it disappears. And that, I'm only doing that to highlight what not to do. Okay, so don't do that. You want to keep that location and move all of the stuff to it. Um, but we'll start clearing out the house. So again, the fridge is now empty. Can't be used as a storage location. We'll go up there's this room that we haven't looked in yet so we might as well pull off the stuff that's on the outside of the door there we go yank it off marco well that's one of those ones where i think you can just use the axe just to tap the stuff off rather than pulling it but okay so let's have a look oh there's also a uh, a magnifying glass thing as well oh we've got more cigarettes uh, bullet casings components gunpowder some electrical components and then just four pieces of wood. So we'll take a couple of those and then have a look and investigate. So, dear Sabira, just when I managed to reach this country we thought to be safe, it, I, it too was plunged into war. Don't worry though, I'm fine. I'll write this letter waiting for a man who could smuggle me to safety in his boat. I'll then apply for asylum. As soon as I get it, I'll bring you here and we'll be together again, away from war and misery. Well, clearly his plans, uh, his best laid plans didn't work as the house is now presumed as a ghost house by everyone that's surviving. Uh, so maybe he died in the house. Again, unpleasant situations abound. After all, we are in the middle of a conflict zone. Okay, let's go back to the end cabinet. There we go. Oh yes, tobacco. And some more gun broken, and a broken gun, and some bullets. Okay, so we've got lots of stuff. We've already got four wood, so we'll leave the rest of the wood there. 
And again, let's rush down and then go down to the basement. Well, the living room, actually. What was a living room, I presume. There's nothing in here to look at. So through we go, and there's this other pile here in this room, isn't there? There we go. So search. Okay, so more bullet casings, more gunpowder, and also some components. So we might as well take, and I think take, and fill up the rest of our capacity. There we go, that'll do. Let's have a quick run down, double check once more. This pile here, we can't access the two in the other room because we still don't have a saw blade. Is there anything else there we can still take? Yep, we can take the roll-ups, and we can take the electrical components, and the components, and the book, and the bullet. There we go. So, that's a very good haul for the evening. Look at all that stuff. Lovely. Okay, so exit. Might as well click run to exit. And then off he trots, and that is us at the end, and the beginning of day nine. So the end of day eight, moving into day nine, and I think we will finish it there. So off you go, run home, and he's back. And we are now in day nine. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Know It All Gaming. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you back here for part three.